Hi, Roy Oppenheim here for Oppenheim Law. Uh, obviously, when uh, people are buying or selling a business, you would think that the first thing they would do is they would have an attorney. But the reality is only when people are usually buying a, a fairly large business or selling a fairly large business do they even think of having an attorney. And, uh, and I want to talk a little bit about folks who are selling either mid-sized businesses or small businesses because they don't fully understand the value of having an attorney. And sometimes they'll just have a real estate broker who's actually a business broker who's giving you a form agreement and you sign it and you, and you think everything's going to be fine. And there's just so much that can go wrong and does go wrong in the sale of a business. And, and I'm not even talking about where someone commits outright fraud, but where sometimes someone doesn't make the proper representations or forgets to tell you something or you forget to tell someone something and, and how that leads to a problem. I mean, buying a business is tough because uh, a lot of times it's personality driven and what happens when those people are no longer there to run the business how is that business going to, going to run when, when the old owners and old managers are not there? More importantly, there are tax consequences. There are consequences concerning obligations, debts, landlords, uh, all kinds of other possible taxes, not just income taxes, but, but, but other taxes that, that may be due, particularly sales tax, if you're selling, if you're selling a business that, 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 that has uh, the requirements of collecting sales tax. You have the whole internet situation now. You have the possibility of intellectual property violations. You possibly have slander and advertising issues that all have to be addressed. It's kind of a holistic approach. So anyone who, who tells you that you don't think you need an attorney to buy or sell a business, I would uh, beg to differ with it vociferously and, and suggest that if you're contemplating to buy or sell a business, that you contact an attorney ahead of time so that you can plan your strategy in the development of the plan to sell or buy a business. Roy Oppenheim for Oppenheim Law from the trenches. Thank you.